Good day, fountain pen enthusiasts! Now, yesterday I had a go at making up uh, my first batch of uh, rosin based fountain pen sealant, something I've not come across before. So um, it's had a, a chance now, it's, uh, it's cooled overnight, it's, uh, it's still very viscous, but uh, it is enough of a liquid um, for me to have. How do we go with it? I've applied some to the, the threads of this ballpoint pen and a wee bit to the clip to see whether or not it's it's dried out or if it stays tacky, which I'm from what I read I'm assuming it's supposed to. So uh, I don't know, tacky test first. <laughs> Get the old pinky. Yeah, it's gross. It's um yeah, it's it's sticky. It's uh, not entirely unpleasant, but it's quite easy to yeah, it's quite easy to wipe. Maybe too easy. I don't know. It's the first time I've ever made this stuff. Let's see how well it's performed on those threads. Um, I didn't put very much at all on it, just to see whether it would uh, it would work. Anyway, let's go. I didn't tighten it up hard or anything. Let's uh, have a look. Oh yes. Now uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I was not expecting it to be as uh, as firm as that. It pretty much doesn't have much much of a colour to it. I know that the in the bottle it's quite a bright yellow. But on the threads itself, it just uh, it looks like a shininess. And the threads, yeah, they're they're quite tacky, but that's pretty good. Um, it held quite nicely. You know, it was quite hard to open that, just with my fingers, obviously. Yeah, that's pretty encouraging. Um, well, maybe that's okay then. It doesn't need any adjustment to the mix. Who knows? To give you an idea of how tacky this batch is, I don't know if it's supposed to be stickier than it is. This is the uh, the pin I was using to stir the mixture as it was cooking, and it's still got some on it. Um, it's been left out in the open uh, since yesterday. If I pop my pinky on that, you know, I can just about lift it up. And that's quite a heavy darning needle. <laughs> it's quite tacky stuff. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's have a look at it. I've got some shellac here because that's the only basis I, I really have for com for comparison. I read somewhere. I'm not sure exactly offhand, but I've, I've got it in the, the blog links. It's supposed to be slightly tackier than shellac. Now, as you can see, this shellac is pretty, uh, it's viscous stuff. You can put it upside down. It'll be quite a while before that starts moving to the bottom. But it still kind of paints on, yeah? Whereas this rosin sealant, and I hope this camera angle is good enough for you because obviously I need both hands to start messing around with this stuff. If I pull this out, it's more sort of, <laughs> it's not quite a paste, but it's more blobby. I'll, um, I'll get my loop out for you. Right, have a look at this. You see, it's, it's thick stuff, if I... <laughs> uh, maybe that's too thick, I don't know. Um, what I, I will be able to find out, I mean, it's... I'm satisfied this, to my satisfaction, that's good enough for sealing section threads. Because it does make it quite firm, without being impossible to open. What I've not been able to ascertain to my satisfaction is, well... Is this stuff going to be ink tight? You know, maybe it's too thick to flow into threads properly or something, or maybe I'm just talking nonsense, I don't know yet. The only way to find out is to put my money where my mouth is and maybe use it on a couple of fencing pens. So I'm quite happy with today's ballpoint test. I think the next pen I'll use it on is this, um, what is this? It's a Jinhao of some kind, some kind. It's um, 
quite similar to a Parker 61. Now these uh, threads obviously aren't anything to do with um, keeping it ink tight, but I'll, I'll try it on that first. And if I'm happy that it's, um, it performs okay on that, I will move on to this Parker 51. Now the reason I'm quite keen uh, to use this stuff, this Rosen based steel on the 51, when I got this pen, um, it was so hard to open. Now I've since I've since bought, you know, section pliers and everything, but at the time I was using blue tack, which I still use actually to open pens because it's it's the kind of thing. There's no way you can damage a pen really. You can damage your fingers, you pull off skin and what have you, but it can't damage the pen gripping it with this and twisting. Now the situation here was that the shellac on the section had migrated up to the o-ring that this uh, this late Parker 51 has under the hood and my lord it was impossible to open. I did eventually get it open and uh, performed whatever adjustments I needed to do. I can't remember what was wrong with this pen. Anyway that's irrelevant. But the point is I would much prefer specifically for Parker 51's with an o-ring in them like this one has and my the black one has over here yeah, I would prefer it to be rosin based seal and something that will release at lower temperature and maybe give me a bit less of a hard time to open. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back to you when after when I <laughs> when I start doing that I guess yeah. So um, if you find this sort of uh, experiment type thing interesting, I will seal up this Jinhao tonight and get back to you tomorrow. See how it goes. Cheers bye.